Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we talked about component and directive lifecycle hooks in an Angular application and in this section we'll talk about routing. Now one of the very important behavior exhibited by an Angular application is whenever a particular link is clicked to load a new view onto the web page generally there isn't a page request that goes on to the server okay uh, initially when we talked about uh, the behaviors exhibited by a single page application as compared to the behavior of a normal web application we saw that whenever angular whenever an angular application loads an initial request is sent out to the server to fetch the whole application package uh, that contains some javascript and some views uh, and some code that uh, tells Angular which particular uh, view to load in which particular case. Okay, so that is uh, what happens uh, in case of routing in an Angular application. Okay, uh, whenever Angular has to, or whenever uh, Angular uh, is asked to load a new uh, view onto the screen, Angular does not send out a new request to the server. Instead, there is a configuration that is provided to Angular and this configuration is basically a mapping of the route that is reached and the component that Angular has to load uh, when a particular route is reached. Okay, so say for example, in this application, whenever um, we basically have uh, three components, the home component, the blog component, and the about component, and whenever a particular route is reached, say an empty route, uh, we have a mapping uh, in Angular that says that whenever an empty route is reached, it has to navigate the user to the home component or it has to load the home component onto the uh, container. If the blog route is reached, then it has to load the blog component and when the about route is reached, it has to load the about component. Okay, this is generally uh, a behavior that uh, that gives single page applications more of a desktop like feeling and single page applications are for the same reason faster as compared to normal websites okay now routing is a very important part of this behavior that single page applications exhibit okay so uh, and it is quite simple to implement routing in angular applications okay now uh, let's just quickly see how exactly can we do that in the in this video and in the next video we'll actually get our hands dirty in code and see how routing can be implemented in an angular application okay so for routing purposes uh, it's really highly recommended to create a new module okay so that's what we'll be doing we'll be creating a new module named uh, named the app routing module now this is recommended because we don't really uh, we really want to uh, separate or segregate the code uh, for different functionalities and purposes in different files or different modules okay so that's what we are going to do here since this particular piece of code will only be there inside our application for routing purposes we'll create a new module for it okay so we'll create an app routing module and we have to import the router module that angular ships with which helps us in implementing routing in our angular applications okay so we'll import router module and routes from angular slash router package then we will import that in our app routing module okay then we'll create a configuration this configuration will have objects with keys uh, path and component now the path key specifies that whenever this particular path is reached it has to load the component that has been specified by the component key for that particular route object okay so this is basically a configuration that has to be provided after that once we define this configuration we have to call the for root method on the router module and pass it uh, this configuration as an argument like so okay now once we do that we'll simply import the router module like so and so that the user of our app routing module can use this router module we'll also have to export it from this particular module 
okay now what we will do is we will simply import the app routing module in our root module that is the app module and then we will be able to use routing now one important thing we will have to do is uh, we will have to specify the router outlet tag now this router outlet tag basically acts as a container for new views to get loaded okay what we have done uh, by specifying the route configuration is that we have told angular that whenever a particular route is reached it has to load a component at a particular place but we hadn't really specified that place uh, yet so that is something that we will do with the help of the router outlet tag with the help of the router outlet tag we will specify that angular has to load a particular component when a particular route is reached at this particular place okay so uh, this was the basics of routing that angular application has in the next video we will actually see this uh, getting implemented in code so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks